What's up, guys? Good morning. Happy Monday. I think today is the 8th. I forgot my watch, so I have no clue what day it is, what time it is. Judging by the sun in here, looks like it's like around 11 in the morning. Let me check. It is... My iPad's dead. I can't check up my iPad either. I have no clue what time it is. I think it's around 11. <laughs> um, just getting to uh, the warehouse. Did already a trash run and um, did a scrap scrap metal run. So that's all gone. Have pretty busy uh, day today. As you see, I have a huge mess behind me. I have to go through everything that I couldn't go through during the live and see what I got. Um, start taking more trash out. Uh, start making piles, a uh, pile runs for Goodwill. Get that out of here. Obviously, gotta do my eBay listings for the day, and I gotta pack what's all over the weekend. Um, very busy, very busy Monday. Uh, I guess I'll talk about what I did during the weekend. It's like a personal goal for me to not record during the weekend because um, if I record too much and do too much editing, it really burns me out really fast. Then I lose, lose the desire to do this thing. So. Um, I decided to just uh, do my regular work during the weekend, but not really record anything here so that I don't have to edit it later. Um, but uh, on Saturday, um, had a really good day, a lot of postings. I posted $607 worth of items. Yesterday, I was only here for like maybe an hour uh, before the Super Bowl, so I posted only four items for $89. But I pretty much finished all the die-cast cars besides one. Besides this one, if anybody out there knows what this is, um, please let me know. Obviously, it's a 1969 Plymouth GTX. I see that, but I don't see the brand anywhere. There's no brand underneath, there's no brand on the car. So uh, I try to eBay this and I never could find one like this. So until I find what it is, it's gonna be a nice little paper holder on my desk until I find what that one is. But the rest of the diecast cards were posted and like uh, like I said, uh, no major home runs there, but they're all from 10 to 30. I think I maybe had one over 30, but so it wasn't like amazing quality, but there were so many of them. I had a whole rack of them posted. I guess I'll show you. We had like all this over here, all those, all those, and then all the, the ones on Carter in here. There's a ton of them. So it was still a really good box, even though there's no amazing value in them. But imagine every single one of these is 20 bucks. That adds up to a decent amount of money. So yeah, finally got that box posted. I did that over the weekend. Um, I already made a video about my failed YouTube live. I'm not gonna really get into it too much. Hopefully the one this week, if I have one this week, it's gonna be um, good. Uh, but yeah, that's what I did over, during, during the weekend. Okay, so I just got back, finished doing all my errands. I grabbed me some lunch. It's 12.45, so it's time to pull orders of what's sold over the weekend. First thing I'm looking for is actually a viewer sale. And it's this one, two, three, four, right? Should be only four, right here. these four sets of uh, Pokemon cards. So if you were Carol, I uh, bought all these. Thank you so much, Carol. Carol Richa asked to make a deal on them, and we did. I was very happy to see them go. It's just four lots of Pokemon cards. It's a lot of commons, um, uh, hollow, stuff like that. Nothing like that's worth too much money, uh, but I sold all four lots to her for $30. I think there's like 70 cards in a lot or something. So it's like 200 cards, 200 plus cards for sure. Thank you so much, Carol. I hope you enjoy them or whoever you give them to. I hope they enjoy them. Thank you so much for your purchase, Carol. Next, I already sold one of these. Very surprisingly, but very happy that they sold. I sold a Baby Spice doll. Is it on top? Why would I ever be on top, right? Here's the second one. Nope. I see this one's already scary. I believe this one's Baby. Baby Spice. Yep, sold. This doll, uh, it sold for $18. I sold a watch. I had these watches for a while. Should be one of these bags. Yeah, in this box right here. Men's 
brand new Ursa watch. I got all these watches in one buy. All that you see here. I paid 50 bucks for this whole box. And uh, I've been selling these pretty frequently. They've been selling for like $30 each. I still have a ton left, so I'm very happy with that buy. This was part of it too. It's like a Ursa Major, kind of cool like Constellation watch, uh, brand new. And this watch sold for $22. Very happy with that. Interesting sale right here. I sold this winter snow tube. I wasn't sure if I should list it or do anything with it because I didn't see any, um, did not see any brand. I just listed it as a winter snow tube. That's it, unbranded. And it's still sold. So very happy to see that. Sold for $15. Saw the doll. This sold pretty quickly as well. I saw this one right here. This Monster High doll. This came out of the $10 storage unit from Springfield. That's the one with the Skylander stuff, the one with the watches. Um, this doll was there. And this doll sold for $18. It's Monster High, you should be aware. Monster High dolls sell for big money and they sell quickly. Going to my little tool side. Most tools I sell locally. The ones that I don't have batteries or anything, I sell them um, online. I saw this Black & Decker uh, battery powered saw. Saw only, um, no battery. I sold this for $35 with free shipping. Probably cost me around 10 bucks to ship. So that's all the small stuff that sold on eBay. I sold clothes, I'm gonna get that later though. On Mercari, I sold one of these NFL, uh, NHL figurines from the, um, got this from the Amazon pallets. I sold a Brian Boucher. This is a Mark Messier. This is a Patrick Croix. This is an Eric Lindros. And the last one I always find, another, Oh no, Brian Boucher right here. I thought, I thought this, uh, this was Brian Boucher. Not my here. Brian Boucher is apparently a goalie. I had no clue. <laughs> I, I sold this thing on Mercari uh, for $17. Sure I got the right thing. Yep, goalie. And then I sold a teddy bear. A sunflower teddy bear. Should be in Ben G. The streak continues. Getting phone calls in the middle of recording. <laughs> um, I sold this bear right here. This sunflower bear. Isn't he, isn't he cute? This came out of the recent donation buy that I had that had a bunch of uh, Build-A-Bear stuff in it. That's not a Build-A-Bear brand. That's called Russ. Russ Sunflower Bear. This is the brand. And this guy sold for 20 bucks. I know a lot of people are talking about this now but a lot of YouTubers are talking about this. Do not sleep on plush, guys. Plush sells and sells pretty well. $20 for that. Very happy with that. Sold a pair of shoes on Poshmark. Finally, they sold. I had these shoes for probably over a year. I'm not sure why they sold them to sell me because it's a youth brand, but uh, they're pretty cool shoes. They're Nike Air Maxes. When I found them, in the storage unit, I thought they would sell like in a month. It took over a year. These guys right here, Nike, Air Maxes, these shoes right here, finally sold. Uh, I got 20 bucks for them on Poshmark. I think I listed them for like 35 on eBay, then dropped them to 30, cross posted to Poshmark, and they were listed for like 27 on Poshmark. Somebody offered me 20 and I was just happy to see them go. So these guys sold. Okay, so that's it for like small sales. The rest of it is closed. So let's go over to the other room and grab all those. That wasn't supposed to rhyme. I don't know, like, I sound like Dr. Seuss right now. <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs> but yeah, let's go grab a bin and find all of these clothes, hopefully relatively fast. Okay, first I sold a pair of Converse jeans, a men's Converse jeans, just besides 34. Okay, found them. Uh, the reason why they weren't on my 34 uh, stack, because they they aren't uh, labeled. I knew they were 34 because I measured. That's why I put in my 34s. Okay, those guys sold on um, Poshmark for 20 bucks. Next we go for an H&M men's button down. It's right here. 
pretty cool button down right here. Um, this sold on eBay for I believe $18. This came out of a donation purchase. Sold a New York and Company blouse for 15. I have a lot of NYC. But I believe this was recent because I just remember putting this in. I think it's this one. Are you extra large? Yes, you are. That's nice. Yep, this is the blouse right here. Sold this for 15 bucks. But um, this sold as well. It's like a, I guess you could say maybe vintage. I don't know. What year is this? Looks pretty old. This is McNabb Westbrook. Uh, Terrell Owens says, what, 2004? 16 years ago. And the foul uh, t shirt. Kind of cool. Um, this sold pretty quickly. Got 24 bucks for that. And that came out of a storage unit. Next, I'm looking for some uh, Express uh, Jeggings, which would be in here. I believe it's these guys. Let me double check. Double checks, <laughs> double check. Uh, okay, I can't speak today. Uh, Express size eight, length 28. Yep, those. Uh, it's my first time actually ever seeing this brand. The brand is called ASOS, right here. You guys can see that. ASOS. Cool looking uh, denim jacket. Uh, this came out either a storage unit or a donation purchase. I don't know. I had it in my death file for a while. Finally got it washed. Uh, posted on Friday or Saturday, and someone sent me an offer yesterday, and I and I took it. Um, had it for 25. Somebody offered me 22. Very happy to take that. Anytime I get something over 20 dollars for clothing, very happy with. So uh, that that jacket sold. Found this actually very fast. Um, Liz and Me Essentials 4X t-shirt, just a regular t-shirt. This thing sold over the weekend. Yeah, 18 bucks for this. This is a funny story because I remember this was one of the first things that Vita listed for me. And she goes, why am I listing this? This will never sell. And there was like four, I think Liz and Me Essentials that she was listing. And one sold like a week later. I texted her like, boom, see, <laughs> one already sold. And there's another one right here. This one sold sold for $18. The reason why it sells because it's a 4X. People who are 4X, hard for them to find clothes. A lot of them actually go on eBay and uh, and buy clothes there. So like 3X, 4X is actually a really good, really good market for that. Uh, anything higher is kind of hard to move, like 5X and higher is, is kind of hard. But 3X, 4X, those move pretty, pretty steadily for me. So anytime I see that, even if, even if it's just like, like a common t-shirt like that one, I still post it. And last thing I'm looking for is a black label men's long sleeve t-shirt. It's brown, size medium. I've had this forever as well. I'm glad to finally see it go. I believe it's right here. This right here. This t-shirt finally sold. This came out of the Gooch unit. This is how long I had this thing. And this thing sold for 15 bucks. So that's all the sales. I think I had close to uh, 20 sales over the weekend. Again, um, not amazing numbers. Um, something I'm pretty happy with. Right now, I'm trying to survive. Like I mentioned before, until I get my top rated status back and I can do sales and, uh, and post, do promotions and sales and all that stuff. Uh, you're very uh, limited with um, not having top rated. You can't even do GSP. I just learned that this week. If uh, they only um, allow GSP, which is Global Shipping Program, they only allow that to, to uh, ball rated and, and plus. So right and below standard, I can't even do that. So uh, like I said, I'm just trying to survive until the 21st and then I'm gonna thrive, right? So uh, any sale that I get from here until now, very very happy with no matter how little or how few they are as long as stuff is moving and i can uh, pay my bills and pay my employees i am uh, i am happy so let me get all these guys packed and get them out the door okay so i got them out the door got them all shipped out now i'm just doing some listings oh nothing to see here just it's a 30 year old pile of dolls you know everything's normal nothing nothing crazy here <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel really weird doing all this stuff. But I'm finally getting into uh, these dolls and trying to post them. And it is super hard, actually, to find what you're looking for. Um, I'm only on the first one. It's taking me like 20 minutes to research it. I'm hoping the, the next ones come simpler. The mistake I made is I looked at, it came on this stand. And the stand had a uh, Imsco on it, right? So I like eBayed Imsco dolls and dolls are coming up. So try to find mine. And I couldn't. Uh, the reason why is because this doll is just on an Imsco stand, but it's actually not an Imsco doll. I don't know if you guys can see, it says Carol Ann Dolls, designed by Betty Ball. 907 out of 10,000, I think, or is it 1,000? So I was born I was born in 1990, so this doll is older than me. So I had to look those up. I didn't find anything like mine i sold a, i found a very similar one from 92 that sold for 40 uh, plus shipping so i figured mine's older gotta be more valuable right so i'm probably gonna list her for 50 plus shipping and see what happens now the cool part is though that these stands uh, imsco stands these actually sell on ebay as well <laughs> so that was pretty dope so i'm probably gonna list this stand for like 15 bucks and see what happens there but um, yeah, it took me about 20 minutes. Only got one doll in. I have a whole tote right here to go through. So wish me luck. So I'm listing my life away with all these dolls. I'm like maybe halfway through a tote. I found this creepy clown music box. I'm gonna go try to scare Vita with it. Damn. Didn't get scared at all from no, this guy. No, don't scare me. They're creepy, but they don't scare me. I've seen scarier. Does this sit in like your mantle or your bookcase? Oh my gosh, his head moves. This will haunt my dreams. It's gonna be terrible, terrible YouTube footage. Why could you just pretend you were scared or something? Paul, I- A waste of two minutes of my time. I your waste of two minutes. Now I gotta listen to this guy play the whole time. All right. Let's see if he's even worth anything. Price, products, clown. It's creepy. The, the song is creepy too. Okay, time to uh, head out of here. Uh, I still have like half a tote of these creepy dolls left. All these. Creepy, creepy dolls. Look at all these dolls. These take forever um, to look up, but they look like they're selling for decent money, so it's worth the investment if they do sell. Look at these creepy dolls. Uh, I have still have a half a tote, and I think I still have more out here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I already see, yeah, I already see them. I see tons of them. <laughs> I have a ton of these dolls, okay. I have like stuff there. I have more dolls up here. Wow. Okay, I had way more than I thought I did. Another one right there. Um, they're decent though. They sell for like forty bucks. So I'm not complaining that I have a lot of them. It's just a lot of work and it's creepy. <laughs> I, I think they said in my last that they're gonna wake up and like kill me during the middle of the night. <laughs> so I gotta get out of here before that happens. I listed ten of them today, and I had like. Uh, over $300 in listings. So pretty happy with that. We're gonna head out now because I have some plans in Jersey. So I'm gonna go do that. Vita is almost done taking pictures and she's gonna head out of here. And she's, she's supposed to start posting Jurassic Pie as well as tomorrow. So we should have another decent um, week. It's not gonna be an amazing week as we did last time, but we should still be uh, pretty good. Uh, I want to, hopefully, get most of the stuff posted this week if not all of it just a little conflict is i still have all this right here left to go through so but thankfully tomorrow i should be fully um concentrated on the reselling business i don't think i have anything else going on i know starting from 10 a.m i'm here because i have a meetup at 10 a.m for um that conference table that's back there that's been here forever that thing finally sold 
So I know I have to be here at 10 for that. And then I can start working and listing and doing all this stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be for tomorrow. I am out of here. Make sure I have my keys. I do. I am out of here for today. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys had a great Monday. I hope you guys had a great listing day. Listing on Monday is a great way to start your week. And I hope you guys had great weekend sales. I hope you guys killed it and backed everything nicely. And you guys can get some good feedback on your stuff. Uh, but yeah, I am out of here. It is so cold outside. I am out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.